don't feel confined. Be yourself. You're going to see a lot of ruffles today. For some of us, spring has finally sprung in the US and I'm here to give you 33 super fun clothing upside. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. And today I am going to give you a wide range. First of all, if this is your first time watching this channel, so you'll know what goes on here and to keep you informed on some upcycle, some simple things all the way to some amazing things um, that you can do for your clothes. The clothes that you would probably already have in your house or if you like to go thrifting, then these could be thrift flips as well. We're gonna get right into it. And if you've been here before, you know we're gonna start with the NOSA. So first up, in the last couple of weeks, we have been doing some t-shirt upcycles and we did this super cute one that just required ribbons and safety pins. And I took the ribbon and made bowls out of them and safety pinned them to a shirt. No sewing at all. And then if you decide that you are no longer into that trend, just take them off. You can enjoy the trend without losing a good t-shirt. And then this next one is an embellished tee. We all know that embellishment goes in and out, but there are definitely those of you who love bling. So this one is, I added pearls to the shoulder of a t-shirt. I love to see the pearls added all over. My patience is not there yet. We're working on it, but <laughs> we're working on my patience for that as well as hand sewing, not there yet. But um, if you want to do that, that would be absolutely amazing to the front and the back and just bling until your heart's content. Next up for this spring, try a little watercolor tie dye. I tried this last year and I absolutely love the effect. As a matter of fact, I added it to some of the pieces that I did for my brand, Blueprint Signature. And oh, let me tell you, not only you could do it on cream, light gray and white pieces, take them and dip dye them in the rich, I love the Rit Dye More. Um, and there's a couple of other brands that are really great to just dip dye and it just gives such an amazing effect. It's almost like watercolor. You can see here, this one's kind of like a mermaid effect. Really, really love that. And you can also dye jeans. It's springtime, so you might want your jeans to be a different color like this super cute green color. So I stripped the color from these jeans because initially I tried to dye them just green, but I didn't really like that effect. So I stripped the color and then I dyed them with the Rit Dye More again in this green dye turned out so so good and did you know that you can use just scissors just scissors and a t-shirt to make a mini ruffle dress yes you can with this technique that I'm doing right here where you make t-shirt yarn you just cut a one inch strip of the t-shirt and stretch it and make t-shirt yarn use a safety pin and weave it to create layers and now you have a ruffle dress. This one is so cute. You can also take that same technique and add just like a peplum on top on the bottom of a shirt or even just a little tiny ruffle like you see me doing here to this ringer tee. Love uh, this t-shirt. It just gives it a little, you know, just a little, a little spring, a little whimsical spring effect. And with that same technique, you can make a whole sundress. Yes, a whole sundress we know like sundresses when you're transitioning from spring to summer that's the thing you want to start getting your sundresses ready and this is really something that anybody can do just a bunch of t-shirts that same technique that i was telling you about weaving the t-shirt yarn and you can have a whole sundress and last up fringe is in and you can do it with t-shirts without sewing just cut slits in the side of a t-shirt and then tie them together, stretch them. So it's almost like t-shirt yarn hanging down on the side. Now you have a super cute skirt with fringe on the side that makes you feel like dancing. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. You can see behind me, I'm in my space. We're getting ready for our grand opening over here. Um, I'll add a link to a video to kind of explain what we have going on over here, but it is a thrift swap that we're about to have. And I am having a grand opening sale, which I will tell you about later for my brand. But as far as this channel, we have some super exciting things coming up for this spring and summer that I cannot wait to release. I'm doing prom season. We're doing Bridgerton. Um, and yeah, we have some amazing inspirations. Oh, we're doing a $19,000 pair of Valentino jeans. Oh, it's, I'm excited. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. All right, so next up, we're into the sewing tutorials. Not all of them are going to be hard. We go all the way from just like super easy to a little bit more difficult. I'll keep the more difficult ones, the epic ones to the end, as you guys know. But let's talk about dresses because dresses are 
to me, an important part of spring because we'll want to kind of come out of all of those winter layers and wear something frilly and flowy and different things like that. So let's talk about some dresses. I made this little black dress out of two dresses. And I think this is super cute and it can be worn as a skirt. And then remember we talked about the mini ruffle dress that we did with the no sew. You can do that same thing sewing with a dress shirt. I love this with a plaid dress shirt and a men's button down shirt. It is just so cute. You guys know I love ruffles and you'll see plenty of ruffles. You're gonna see, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of ruffles today. I just think of ruffles when I think of spring. So um, not everything has ruffles, but if you like ruffles, <laughs> I got you today. Because next up is my ruffle color block dress and, and I'll show you the inspiration here. And I just decided to make my own. A bunch of you have made this one and thank you guys so much for sending me your pics. Some of you guys have put plaid in it and different colors in it, pastels, vibrant colors. And it they have all turned out super cute. I love, oh, and I'm gonna put another one that has ruffles right there um, that is not part of this video, but I'm just gonna put it in there because it's kind of another variation of that. Like I said, we love ruffles. And once you know how to gather fabric, a gathering stitch is just a straight stitch that has the highest level of tension and the longest stitch length. And you're gonna pull that thread and it'll gather. So once you know how to do that, you're on for ruffles. And since we're talking about men's button downs, check this one out where I made this plunging corset dress um, inspired by something else I saw as well. But this one, super, super cute. Doesn't get as much wear because of the neckline, but definitely a statement. And another one here, super simple with a men's dress shirt. This one, you're just taking two dress shirts and taking the middle of one and putting it, inserting it into the other one. And now you have this super cute lounge dress. This dress is so easy. Like you could wear this anywhere. And last up, check out this denim dress with the color blocking. Oh, I was inspired by this A-line dress, but my denim was a little bit stretchy. So with the stretchy denim, that meant that I needed to make it a little bit more fitted, but I couldn't be more pleased at how this turned out with the suspender straps. So, so cute. All right, next up, you're probably gonna wanna wear some shorts. They don't all have to be long. And if you've been watching the trends, those long shorts are back once again. So here's a tutorial on how to just cut the like jeans off. I got these stretchy waist jeans, quote unquote jeans from the thrift store. And all I did was cut them off and add a little ruffle at the bottom. Super cute. Here I'm wearing it with a swimsuit because it's definitely giving me like a pinup girl vibe, but I absolutely love that. And you can use that same idea to make the shorts however short you want them to be. They can be calf length, they can be knee length, they can even be short shorts. And you can also turn your pants into shorts with this no so. With this, I just use some heat and bond strips in order to cut off these pants and fold them up to make this cuff. And these are super cute. And then you can also take some old jeans and turn them into some like frilly shorts. I wanted to, to take in a bigger pair of jeans and cinch them in the waist, kind of ruffle that waist in order to make the bottom of the jeans kind of flare out. And that's exactly what happened. Once you um, take in that waistband and kind of pleat those jeans on the side, it causes the, the bottoms to flare out, gave it a nice curved edge. And yes, they look really, really good with heels. They elongate the legs Do Yeah, they give a really good effect, especially for those of us who don't have as much curves or even those of us who do. They'll make room for your curves if you have a small waist and then you have hips. Or if you don't have curves, it'll give you the illusion of curves. And you can also take your work pants or dress pants and turn them into skirts. I personally love them because wearing a mini skirt I'm not the most comfortable in them all the time, but a skirt, I never feel hindered or anything like that. And it's still giving me the effect of a skirt. So I made this kind of suit set with the skirt. We also sell those for Blueprint Signature. I will put the links or you'll see them pop it up right here. Um, we are, like I said, having a grand opening sale. So definitely, definitely um, check blueprintsignature.com for those sales that are going on. You guys loved our last sale, so we're gonna do it again, have a grand opening sale for you guys. So definitely check that out. All right, so next up, let's talk about some blazers. I made this video with a series of three blazers that you can do, and I put these in spring because, of course, you know, blazers, I would see them as more of a winter attire, but I wanted to show you these here because to me, 
if you want to transition a blazer into summertime, summertime would be the way to wear these three blazers. One of them I turned into a cape and it's not a real cape, but you split the seam up the side of the arms and it gives the illusion of a cape. And that also can give you more air, more air circulating. And there's a very big population of women that more air circulation is all for the better. So I got you. And I also did two cutout blazers. So one has the cutout in the back. That definitely is easy breezy. Of course you can wear a shirt with it, but that's giving you a different effect on the back of that blazer. And it's taking the whole back of the blazer off so you don't have that heat running up your back. It's all about, you know, where you carry heat, right? And then on the other one, it's, in the front. And so this one, I added the Sashiko stitching. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, Sashiko stitching along the front of it. It's inspired by Off-White, a runway show they had a couple years ago. And I absolutely love doing that. Something I really want to practice more to get better at it. And make sure you get your upcycle planner. Don't forget about your upcycle planner because we are in accessories right now. So here's what you can do for accessories for spring. Last week, we made a rosette choker and I have been seeing some of you guys do it in other things other than t-shirts which is absolutely amazing so you can take this same tutorial make your choker out of you know literally whatever but we made ours out of an old t-shirt which makes it super simple and some ribbon you can make a choker you can make some uh, pendants you can make a belt it's just, you can sew them and put them all over, you know, whatever you want to put them on. I'm really excited to play around with this idea some more to make some more elevated looks. So yes, definitely. And then you can also take your jeans and make a denim belt. I have one that is no sew. And then the one that I sew that you can also rotate or turn around and make it into a top but i just think that this is a super cute belt um kind of like that garter style you guys know i love that style and it just gives you a nice little effect that cinch waist effect like you have on jeans but you can have on a skirt you can have on oh it would be gorgeous with a pleated skirt underneath i need a bigger pleated skirt to go underneath that would be whoo epic and then you can also get some purse handles like wooden purse handles i got mine from the thrift store from old bags that were damaged you can also buy them um, and then take your scarves and tie them and order to make scarf bags these are super cute for spring and summer like you it just looks so effortless and it's also a discussion piece like it is like that pop that you need you know just carrying it on your arm yes yes so it's settled. We're all just gonna be super cute for spring. All right, so let's talk about some of our epic up cycles for spring. I have about 10 of them for you. So first up, a jean corset. Have you ever thought about turning your jeans into a corset? And as a matter of fact, I even show you how to make your own pattern by putting tape on your own body and drawing. I know that seems very intimidating, but I promise you this was the only the second time. When you see me doing it on this video, it's the only the second time I've done this and I really, really love how it turned out. So definitely give that a try if you are a sewist and you've been sewing for a little while or even if you're new to sewing and you are adventurous, definitely give that one a try. Love how it turned out. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've done it several times after that and just making the next one better and better and better. All right, so what about these side stripe pants with the knee patches? This is a great technique to take your pants out, to upsize your pants. I know there are many, many of us who have pants sitting in the closet that we can no longer fit. It's okay because you can take them out. So here I use some striped fabric to take these pants out and then I added some denim knee patches. I absolutely love how these turned out. They're definitely very different. They stand out, but that's just definitely my style. And did you know that you can turn a dress into pants? I very seldom, especially as far as wide leg flowy pants, I very seldom find them as long as I would like them. I'm only 5'6", but most of me is leg. And so it's really hard to find pants that are long enough. So I decided to make my own. I took this pleissé dress with an empire waist to make sure that the most of the dress I had length long enough to make it long enough for my legs. And I turned them into a simple elastic waist pair of wide leg pants. And I even added a cute little top with the rest. And you can also turn your old trench coats into skirts. I love it with the fringe coming down, but you definitely don't have to do that. You can make a cute little A-line skirt with a belt. Ugh, so on trend right now, yes. 
definitely try that. And you can also turn your old like chinos or khaki pants into cargo skirts. I've done that. We have, we sell them on my site for Blueprint Signature. Um, cargo pockets, definitely cargo anything is still in. It's been in for a little while, still in. We're going into spring and summer, so mini skirts are gonna be in. Adding that cargo to a mini skirt, definitely, definitely. And then if you wanna make it longer, just make it longer. You can make it all the way to the floor, just adding levels or just turn it into a skirt and add panels in the front and add the cargo pockets. Do it however you like. Don't feel confined. Be yourself, you know? Be yourself. That's what this is all about, making your clothes as unique as you. All right, so next up is another one that I'm excited to try to add to the site this summer is the ruffle off shoulder top. This one is perfect for spring and summer. It's a two piece set here, but I've worn it separate because I just love that top piece so much. It can be wear, worn in so many ways, on the shoulder, like up on the shoulders, off the shoulder, down underneath as a, as a sleeveless. It just is such a versatile piece and I really, really like it. So we're gonna try, we're trying our best to make some to sell on the site. But here is something that we just restocked. You guys have been loving our crisscross jeans. There is a tutorial for it. The reason I'm putting it in this video talking about spring and summer is because of the cutout. These definitely may not be something you would wear all winter because of the cutout, but definitely when we're coming to spring and definitely in summer, jeans, a lot of people don't wear jeans as much, but these are the perfect pair of jeans to wear because they still give you circulation, but you still get that jeans vibe. These are one of my absolute all-time favorite pair of pants and we just restocked them we have a couple of oh absolutely amazingly cool pair um that are just different and then the traditional ones which are also very cool so definitely check those out and if you want to make your own check out the tutorial make your own make them we have them also in joggers now so use that same tutorial make yourself some joggers or definitely go to blueprint signature and check them out they're on sale right now so don't miss it <laughs> don't miss it you guys said last time everything was sold out fast so you don't want to miss it because these people will be able to shop in person you can see them right there right there and we also have some more bucket hats and t-shirts and stuff so people will be able to shop in person so definitely get it before they can get it and then another one this only other pair of jeans that i'm going to add to this video is this cut out waist pair of pants i tried to put jeans that were specifically for summer and i think this cut out waist pair if you're into that would be a great one and then like you see me styling here you don't have to show skin if you don't want to um like i said it's all about making your clothes as unique as you are so wear it however you like and here is one that you can do to a men's dress shirt. This one I added just like this kind of circle crop in the front and some cute little ruffles on the side. These I used to sell on Blueprint Signature. You guys let me know if you wanna see me bring these back. Um, actually, these did sell pretty well. I love mine. Uh, mine is like a pale yellow color. I need it in other i do need it in other colors i just think this is super cute because whenever you wear something like high waist i sometimes i just don't want to be wearing something long with it because it kind of like messes up the silhouette you know and so to have a crop top like this it just goes perfect with some bottoms so yeah i might need this one in some other colors and the last up is the denim wrap skirt you guys yes from jeans add some panels together, make yourself a wrap skirt. I mean, this literally is just a big rectangle. We kind of added some darts at the top to give it some figure, wrap it, add a button and a buttonhole, and you are done. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some of the things that you can do for spring. Um, definitely let me know. You guys have been DMing me. Let me know some things that you, some other things that you wanna see me do. Like I said, we have some things on the docket coming up that are just gonna blow your mind because they're blowing mine trying to figure it out, but we're gonna get them figured out and we're gonna get them done. I am missing all of you. I wish everybody lived in Houston that could come to our grand opening, but um, as you're watching this or some of you are watching this, uh, hopefully everything is going well here. I'm, I'm sure it will, but definitely thank you for making it to this part of the video and for being such an amazing supportive part 
of this community. Um, I love you guys so much. And definitely subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.